Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to cook some curry mutton. Jamaican curry mutton. Yeah, you have seen me done it probably about two or three videos. Now I'm gonna do it another way for you. And all of that. So I always say to you there are three things that i don't leave out of my curry fresh gar ginger root pimento seeds which i've grinded here and this i don't have garam masala today as i want to do one for myself but i did not get to okay so i think not i think i know cloves or grounded pimento are in the garam masala so I'm using pimento, I'm using some, this is three pounds of mutton and I'm going to grate off about this. I think this is fine, like about a thumb size. I won't have to use this piece and I hope you're taking, make sure you are, you know, you're in pan it. Yeah. So that is my grated ginger root. I have right inside there my, um, Rounded pimento. I'm gonna put my salt, which is about this for now. No, I've I done I done a video recently for my patrons. Okay, we are having. I think other people are too. I'm having some serious curry issues. So, what I try to do, I try to do a mixture, and the people that have you know are on my patreon they would have seen how i did this so i have some mixed curry in here okay so maybe put about two tablespoons this is not a tablespoon this is not fully this is the tablespoon this is less than a tablespoon inside here are my chop some chopped herbs scallions my garlic is in here i will never leave that out chopped onions some bell peppers and of course when I left out my scotch bunny pepper. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give this up a little rub. Yeah. And as I start rubbing right here, I have got my pot. You could use a regular skillet, your Dutch pot, but you know, you have to cook down now. I always use my pressure cooker for chewing meats like this. When I have time for the three, four hours I cook, no, I really can't deal with that. I'm glad the day pressure cooker came about. So I'm going to rub this in with the curry that I have. And I'm mind you, I'm not going to be using all of this curry. I just did a mixer. So the rest that is left, I'll put it in a container again. So I'm rubbing up with this. Yeah. So you see, we never put a lot. Yeah. So I did a mixture of curry and something else. For well, the people and patron, I did show them. This is all. I am trying to alleviate some of my curry was. Now, onto my pressure. I'm going to be doing what I'm doing in my pressure. Okay? So what I'll be doing right here, I'm going to be pre-eating a little oil. And that amount of oil is up to you. Yeah. Just enough to cover my pot bottom. Because what I'm going to do... I'm going to saute these herbs in there. Just showing you another way how you can do your curry chicken and I like your curry mutton. You can do this for your chicken too. Just letting you know here that you can use more than one cooking method to do your stuff. Eh? We are make that eat up and return. So three pounds of mutton and this is the amount of herbs that we have. Fresh herbs. Okay. So. This is what is happening. Dad, shoot them up. You can tell them. Hello, Dad. Hello. Family. All right. So, we are going to saute all of these herbs inside here. Because your skillet, you can go ahead and deal with your skillet like that. You know? You know my spoon and my pot. So, 
some people don't like hear it, but I saw it going on my kitchen. See? Yeah, so we are going to deal with that. I make it saute till all them seasoning they cook down and really like really soft. And if me tell you, if I should tell you the aroma that is coming up of my pot now, yo, you wouldn't understand. Remember, hot water should be your most primary thing away from the curry muffin right now. Eh? Yeah, must soon come. Okay, so you see these are breaking down, so I'm gonna come now and add about another tablespoon and a half of curry there. Oh, because the problem with me is for the curry, you know, when you start burning them, they might get dark, you know. So we have it down in there like that, and we are gonna make it break down. We'll give it about five more minutes, coming occasionally or quite a few times to stir it. You know, we can't stop it in a kite down in there and I go on with something. We don't want to burn it on its own too much. So we are lower with flame and make it give it another five minutes coming along. Wow, that is smell that. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. So the curry is cooking down along with the herbs. Just another way to do your curry mutton. Mm, must soon come. You see what is happening there? So look at the spoon. Okay, that's a pretty colour. So, we are going to put this that we have down in there now. Okay? And as soon as we put this in there, we are going to up our flame a bit. We are going to up it. Up it our flame. Whilst we are upping our flame, yeah, this is what one. We are deal with this panelic level in there, you know. That home look. Yeah. Yeah, man. Curry mutton. Different way. So, right here, so hot water this must be. Just a little not a lot and you see it yeah the curry the color not tree bad so you know what saying now we are gonna move a little space to the side i'm not gonna throw all of this though it's gonna come yeah wow wow oh my look daddy Perfect. your man may look like me i go on with something mm -hmm. and then we are gonna throw the rest of this yeah all right we're gonna give it a little swirl around yeah with this liquid all right we're gonna give it some more satin on the eat hmm? we're gonna make this these herbs that we we, 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 we cook down with the curry and that little oil we are gonna we never season the meat with it you know so we are gonna make it under low and then now we are gonna make it come down low come in a few times and stirring it around so you know one fee put no more water we just rinse out the season so we're gonna cover it and let it stay there and it'll go build up a nice little thing look at that get that get them a shot shoot them up again dad you see that beauty there yeah so right now you know the curry no look like it's in a in a brownish you know so that's a different way you now i worked on that way and i'm sharing it with you okay now we are right back and you see we were on the very low, so it stood there, and it was just gelling down. I came back a few times. Well, this is the second time, to be honest. And Dad, I want you to get this thing right in. Yeah. I want to show them something. Look at this. This is not cooked as yet. Cooking family, this is not cooked. This is how I worked the curry alongside those herbs. And I had a little something there. But yes, I'm Dad. You depend on it, let them see it again. No one ain't see it, you know. This is not the mutton we cook yet, you know. It's not cooked as yet. Look at this. All right. Look at me here now. We're going to get our flame up. Now is the time for our hot water. You know, to the side and all of that. I threw right in there about a cup and a half, not two cup. That come back up here, so again, we get the flame up and all of that. So, yes, look here. Look where I go on. This is where I go on. You see, say, we have like a pretty color curry in my pot. That's when you mix the curry. And as I said to you, all those on Patreon, they, I gave them that video. I did it with chicken. I never did it, do it with the mutton. So look here. As always, I tell you, when you're pressuring, your liquid for just barely come on top of your stuff, your meat. Because it pressuring is forced cooking. And it is the steam that is cooking. It's steam other than anything. No, let me tell you something now. A lot of people think that, sorry, I'm sorry, family. 
A lot of people think that when you say pressure, you have to turn the pressure way up. You have high pressure, you have medium pressure, you have low pressure. Pressuring on the low, on the medium, and on the high. Now, I have the pressuring on the medium. Pressuring on the medium and on the low, it takes less time. So just like your high cook, and your medium cook, and your slow cook, yeah, we do it the same in pressuring. So I'm going to medium pressure this. And I know my pressure cooker. If you're using one, try to know it. If you're using your instant pot or your electric pressure cooker, try to know your, 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 how your thing works before because i know mine i'll just time it so when you see me in the next clip this mutton will be ready and we are going to dish up some must soon come so this is it you know fam the mutton look like it had a little fat to me realize that but this is it you know daddy had it on it now this is the cooked one so this is it no we are going to deal with some gravy we are put a little more water so if you were using your potatoes you could at this time put them in eh? but I'm not use the tomato I'm not really have none if I add probably I would but I tell you the truth I'm not have none so put in a little more water and that's all you know everything done getting it done that rich finishing we've got to get it we had everything good but look here I have to so one more something. Salt perfection. Nothing much, just a little bit spicy as supposed to curry mutton, you know? So I turn the flame down, you know, because we don't want this nice gravy, you know? So we put a pinch more salt. And when you see me next, I'm going to have it plate up with you. With some of the good old white rice. You see it? Steaming hot. Next clip. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach, it is Jamaican curry mutton and white rice done just for you. Aye, a finger or two of bananas, me notice eh? the, the part they are kind of, we are lose the part. Originally it's with um, white rice and green bananas. But me notice eh, nowadays everybody will leave out the banana, but when me serve it, we don't come look for me and me I serve it the right way. Me I serve it to the green banana. And me I give you know the money what that's the appetizer. Please do enjoy. Remember to make sure that you're liking these videos, family. Make sure you're watching my ads. Thank you. Remember to make sure you check out my Patreon and all of that. So thanks for the love. Thanks for the support right across all our channels. Remember to be you, do you, most of all, love you. Some of this Jamaican curry goat. And this is not no imported mutton. This is a real grass-fed goat in your kitchen all my info will be in the description of this video until i see you again remember to be you do you most of all just love up yourself